Hello, everyone. In the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 1, John sees a beast rising up out of the sea. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 17 and verses 12 and 13, that sea is nations. Now, John also is standing on the sands of the sea. So John is telling us a revelation. He's telling us where John is standing when he sees the beast rise up out of the nations. John is standing in Israel. Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 22 says the sands of the sea are the number of Israel. So John is telling us a revelation, isn't he, church? He's trying to tell us that he was standing in Israel when he saw the beast rising up out of the nations. In the book of Revelation chapter 13 and verse 4, we see that the, in those days that not only is the beast going to be worshipped, but also the dragon. And then it says, John tells us in Revelation 13 and 4, They worshipped the dragon which had power unto the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with the beast? Because the beast, there is no one on this earth that is like that beast that they cloned. Because he once was a lion, which I believe uh, a priest and a king uh, to deceive the world. And he's going to be a clone. So no one on this earth is like this beast. That's what they're telling us. Revelation 13 and verse uh, 14 says that it is the people on the earth that make the image. So it is not the dragon that creates this beast image. It is the people on the earth. We know they clone him. And I don't know how they do it, church, but I know they're going to put that uh, wounded person's mind and thoughts into this clone. He's going to know exactly who he was. He's going to have all his thoughts. Through technology that's coming, they're going to be able to do that. They're going to be able to create us a body, and, and they're going to be able to take all of your thoughts and everything and place it into that body. So that body will live forever. And it, maybe it's a machine, part human and part machine. In the book of Revelation, chapter 12 and verse 9, we see that the dragon is the devil. Here we go, church. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 29 and verse 3, we see it as also Pharaoh. And I'm telling you that Pharaoh that's coming ain't no man on this earth. He is an ancient being that has been here since the beginning of time. And this ancient Pharaoh that's coming built Egypt. Ancient Egypt. His faces are carved and everything there because he's returning and he's going to be able to match his DNA with his people. I'm not kidding you, church. I've seen this in enough of visions and dreams and the Holy Spirit of God revealed it to me. We see in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verses 13 and 14 that Satan himself can transform himself. So this alien, he's an alien. I don't care what nobody says he is. He's an ancient being that fell from the heavens. He is able to take any form, and so are those that are with him. And those that are on the earth that refuse to worship this Pharaoh will be killed. The book of Matthew chapter 4 and verse 8. The devil took Jesus to a high mountain. He showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And the devil said to Jesus, All these things I'll give thee if thou will fall down and worship me. That's what the devil, Pharaoh, wants. He wants to be worshipped. Not only as a king, but as a god. And that's what they did in the ancient days of Egypt when he was upon the earth. Jesus sets that devil straight, doesn't he, church? He sets him straight. Jesus says it to the devil, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and only him shall thy serve. He was letting that devil know that he serves God too. That's right. In the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 15, we see those that refuse to worship the beast will be killed. We see in verse 16, this is the one world religion, the one world order, causing all small, great, rich, poor, free, bond to receive a mark in their right hand and their forehead. That's that tracking device. That's that new banking system. Verse 17, that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name or of the beast or the number of his name. 
John's going to tell us some revelation in verse 18. Here is wisdom. Let him count the number of the beast, 600606. That's the new banking system, and it means man. God is telling us that this thing that is coming is no God. Even though he desires to be worshipped as God, he is only a man. Now in the book of Jude, Jude's got some revelation knowledge. He should sure does. Verses 10, 11, 12, and 13. Jude knows they are brute beasts. Revelations 13, verses 1 and 2. The beast. Verse 12 in the book of Jude. He said they are clouds without water. Clouds are witnesses, church, in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 1. The water means they do not have the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit is in the book of John chapter 7, verses 38 and 39. So they are witnesses, but not witnesses of God. In the book of uh, Jude, he says that they are trees without fruit. In the book of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 9, we see the trees in the garden of God. We also see in the book of Psalms chapter 1, verses 1, 2, 3, that uh, we are also trees. Now, in the book of Genesis, chapter 3 and verse 7, when Adam and his wife were in the garden, and after they had sinned, they took the fig leaves and they covered themselves. Because that was revelation knowledge right there, church. In the book of Matthew, chapter 21 and verse 19, when Jesus came to the fig tree and it was only covered with the leaves and had no fruit, Jesus cursed the tree. And that's what happened to Adam and his wife in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 17. When God came to them, they were only covered with leaves. They were bearing no fruit, and they were cursed. And the book, and that's what they're saying about these beasts. These beasts are cursed. The book of Jude chapter 12, he says, They are twice dead. Revelation chapter 20 and verse 13 says this is the second death. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 28. Fear him that can destroy body and soul in hell. The word tells us in the book of Jude that they were plucked up by the roots. They were cast out. Jude chapter 13 tells us they are raging waves of sea. Isaiah chapter 57 and verse 20 says the wicked are like the troubled sea when it cannot rest. Jude 13 says they are wandering stars. We see in the book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 20, Jesus is saying that the seven angels or the seven stars are angels. So we are seeing that the stars are angels. Now in the book of Jude 13 says, To whom is reserved the blackness of the darkness forever. He's talking about these beasts. These beasts that John sees in Revelation 13 and Jude sees these beasts as angels. They are wandering stars. They were once trees. They have no fruit. They were witnesses. Now they don't have the Spirit of God. They are now cursed. Jude 1 and 6. Angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation. He is reserved in everlasting chains under darkness. That's right, church. That's what's going to happen to them because they rebelled. Second Peter chapter 2 and verse 4. Angels sinned. They were cast down to hell and delivered into chains of darkness to be reserved into the judgment. Second Peter chapter 2 and verse 12. Peter says they are brute beasts. Made to be taken and destroyed. We see in the book of Revelation chapter 19 and verse 20. They will indeed be destroyed. They are cast alive in the lake of fire, which is the second death. Job chapter 21 and verse 30. The wicked is reserved to the day of destruction, brought forth to the day of wrath. Church, you and I will not see the wrath of God because we escaped the wrath because of Jesus who drank the cup of the wrath of God. Job chapter 24 and verse 13. They rebelled against the light. That's what John is seeing in the book of Revelation. He is seeing fallen angels, brute beasts that come to this earth to take advantage of us on this earth through technology. That's right, church. They're coming. 
The deceivers are coming. Jude saw them, and so did Peter and many of the Old Testament saints that prophesied of their coming, to come into the world to deceive the world. Fallen stars, fallen angels. Because don't forget, church, the devil has angels also. God bless you, church. I pray you like that revelation knowledge from the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. It is the good stuff. God bless you, church, and have a blessed day in the Lord.